today I want to talk a little bit about hypermobility problems. Uh, stability and mobility get talked about a lot, but usually hypermobility kind of falls by the wayside. Uh, we actually see a lot of people in here, whether it's runners, uh, whatever sport you're playing, that actually have hypermobility issues, and then come up with the come in with the same injury as somebody that has a stability or a mobility problem. Um, a fun little test or a screen that you can do to yourself, we do here in the clinic, is called the Baden score or the Baden scale. Um, basically a nine point scale that's going to show you your predilection for hypermobility just in general. This is what we would have used to call being double jointed. So first part of the test is take a hand, put it on your thigh, take your pinky, you're going to pull it back as far as you can go. If you can get your pinky past perpendicular or past 90 degrees, that's basically one point. So we're going up to nine. So that's one point. Do the other hand, same pinky. You're going to take your thumb. This would be plantar flexion of the thumb. And if you're one of those crazy people that can take the thumb all the way down your forearm, that's another point. Do the other side and get another point. So you're doing really good at this point if you got all those. Now you're going to take your elbows, extend them as far as you can. If you're one of those people where you have double jointed elbows and they hyperextend, one, two. Now you're up to six points. Another two points would be stand with your knees completely extended. If your knees go beyond 90 degrees or, or 180 degrees perpendicular here, that's another point per knee. Now, the last one is a standing toe touch, and we're just going straight down to the floor, knees locked. If you can get your palms to the floor, technically that's another point. Some debate about that. Uh, an ancillary point that I look at a lot is just skin elasticity. So if you're one of those, you know, those people that make themselves look like a frog or something, pull their skin out, that's another point. So you can go up to nine, maybe 10 if you look at that ancillary point. What does all that mean? All that means is that if you say you're a nine out of nine, um, you are more predisposed to have a hypermobility problem, which means that you need to be working more on stability instead of stretching what hurts, getting adjusted necessarily. That's not always answered. Is that needed sometimes? Absolutely. Um, but that usually goes by the wayside. And another thing that we talk to a lot of our patients about that show up with a higher score on that Baden scale is that autoimmune issues and collagen disorders such as Ehlers-Danlos or um, Marfan's, which are very rare diseases, but anything on a spectrum like that can show up with a hypermobility issue just like that. So it's important to know all of those factors because then you can treat it from every aspect to physical medicine, to nutrition, to whatever it be, so you're not just treating one area of the body or one um, kind of symptom or one cause. So we're going to try to treat everything at once. So again, bait and scale, do it on yourself and uh, just fun little thing to do.